Hey guys, and welcome back to Hummingbird Acres. We, like normal, have had a very busy week around here. Um, I guess the theme for this month and this season of our life is just packing and moving and decluttering. So definitely that is majority of what we're doing. But that doesn't mean that we don't slow down and enjoy some of the simpler things. Um, and one of those things is homemade sourdough bagels. This is something that Hunter requested. He really loves bagels on like a weekend morning. So I made some bagels and I have to say these turned out better than a lot of the bagels that I've made recently. And that was probably because we are having a warm spell right now. So it is definitely warm outside and you want to be outside. So they did absolutely amazing. Um, they were really good and they did really well rising. So that was awesome. All right, I am out of the kitchen and I'm going to tackle some of this. I don't even really know where to start. Probably go back there, like over there, and start packing up some of the garden stuff and figure it out. Wish me luck. After getting up here and looking, most of the stuff in here, like all of the pots, um, that most of the stuff needs to travel in like an enclosed in area, like the back of the truck. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave, I took what I could, I'm gonna leave the rest of it, and I'm thinking when we go to take Nana's camper down, I will put the rest of this, or as much as I can, into the back of the truck. I think that's gonna be my best option right now. And then eventually, all of the windows for the greenhouse, there's two piles here, there's more back there, all of those windows will have to go too. So, I was hopeful, but we'll get it, another trip. Did you move all right, come on, let's go, over here. Pull it off. I'm gonna move it off the trailer. Well, you can't leave it there because that's where we have to walk. Okay, bro. Wow, look at you. When did you get muscles? Working out. Is it all that working out? Yeah. Thank you. I don't know about that, but look at you go, boy. I can keep it off the ground. I'm proud look, of you. I'm still not tired. All right, ready? Put your side down. The kids were a big help when it came to loading up this trailer this weekend. Um, we are getting ready to go down to the acres for spring break. So we are trying to get as much loaded up as we can to take with us. Kind of the theme for this trip going down is I want to take all of the garden stuff 
or as much of the garden stuff as we can. So loading up um, two of the garden boxes that we took um, or are taking and then taking apart the third one to take with us. Um, so yeah, the theme for this, not really that I meant to give it a theme, but I did. Um, the theme for this trip is just garden stuff, how much garden stuff we can take and definitely going to take some more plants and stuff with so us as well. Uh, boys, I'm so proud of you! Yeah. That's disgusting. Yeah. Sorry! Yeah. Hang on my pinky. Oh, ah. yeah. It's okay, it's okay. Pinky. Just lay it down and then you can slide pinky. it. Pinky. Or maybe we gotta, gotta lay it down. Be gentle, lay it down. No one there you go, perfect. Now put it down. Um, I really wanted to make sure that we could take one of these long beds with us on this trip just because I do have some things that I need to plant when we get down there and having this long bed would be awesome. It definitely proved to be more difficult to take apart than any of the other beds. Um, yeah, the screws were just buried, whether they were buried in dirt or who knows what. But this bed proved to be really, really difficult to take apart um, to the point where I was like pulling it apart at some points. So it definitely has some work to be done to it before we can put it back together. But I'm going to be very happy that we are taking it down and the soil is already down there so we can fill it and get right to planting. Um, I have lots of potatoes that need to be planted, and there's a few other things that we want to plant as well. Hey guys, happy Sunday. Um, normally it's a rest day, not going to be a rest day today. I am at Nana's house, and my goal is to tackle this garage, get this garage under control, so that it is ready for the movers to come in. Uh, I forgot my phone, so you guys are getting like a midway point. So I already have a couple piles. I have a trash pile, a garden pile, some of that stuff already in the works, but yeah, gonna start cleaning the garage. I'm calling it quits for today. I can't, I don't know if you can really see that much project progress. I'll have to go back and look at the pictures, but I feel like I got this back end pretty well done. Everything on this side goes, basically everything over here goes. And then there's a few things for like trash, but this is the side. I clean this off. So I'll have to finish that up there. The food has to be packed and that cabinet. So another day. As I mentioned in my most recent newsletter, um, one of the skills that I wanted to learn this month, um, besides just packing and all of that, one of the skills I really wanted to learn was cutting hair. Um, as you probably imagine four kids getting hair appointments for all four, it does get very expensive. And what I have found recently is just nobody has time. Like everybody is so booked and I'm such a last minute person when it comes to booking hair appointments that it just wasn't working out. So I figured, you know, why not just teach myself how to do this? And yeah, so that's what I did. Um, I did the girls to start with and I would have to say that um, it was a lot easier than I thought. I watched a few YouTube videos on how to do it and ordered some scissors off of Amazon and it worked out great. Didn't have any problems and both the girls were really happy with their haircuts. Um, up next is the boys. Now I am a little bit more nervous to do the boys, but what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to take all of the stuff with us to Virginia 
and I will give them haircuts down there. Um, we do have um, a trimmer and I think I might use that on their hair instead. Um, not 100% sure yet, but they are very eager. They want me to cut their hair, which is awesome because they're looking forward to it. So um, we're gonna, I'm going to wrap it up here for today. Just lots going on. Um, be sure to tune in to our next video, which we will be down on the homestead. We'll be down on the acres, getting some things ready for us to move down there. The theme for this trip is, like I said, garden. We are going to try and get as much of the orchard done as possible. And I'm going to try and start our garden. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with us at the farmhouse today. And we hope you have a great day.